Hello, welcome back. Another episode of Seven Days. We are doing something special. So 1.0 stable is not out yet, but 1.0 experimental is. And so uh, I wanted to do a quick first seven days of it because by the time I get the first seven days out, uh, stable will be out. So this is kind of just a, a, a quick, a quick pick or a quick peek. Let's call it that quick peek. Um, so obviously it wants us to uh, look at the new challenge system. Uh, we can, when it's in green, we can redeem. When it's in yellow, we can start. Or it's showing us what we want. Uh, can do the same with some of these. You can track whichever ones you want. But this is basically the uh, uh, tutorial. So let's go ahead, get all of what we need because the uh, tutorial, the, there isn't much difference between this and what we've experienced in the past. So. We are going to uh, finish up the tutorial and I will show you what it looks like when I'm on. All right, so we can redeem rewards. So we needed to gather resources, craft the axe, uh, equip the axe, and then use it. Craft a primitive outfit, wear it. Craft the wooden uh, Club, sorry, for some reason I was blanking on that. I had bow on the brain since I have it right in front of my face here. Craft the bow, craft some arrows, and we get to redeem rewards. So now all of the other ones pop up. Um, so what I, uh, I highly recommend uh, is don't hyper-focus on the challenges. And the reason I say don't hyper-focus on the challenges is because it could be real easy to just, you know, oh, it's a bunch of easy ones. Let's just focus on that to start, and I'll get us a bunch of easy experience. So, yeah, you'll get some experience, no doubt. However, uh, I don't think it'll be as much as you think. Like, we were only getting 100 per, and we're not even halfway through level 1 yet. And I just redeemed 8 uh, uh, little... Uh, challenges so don't hyper focus on them however pay attention to them like if you are if you understand what's in the uh, challenges which i will uh kind of go over the first uh, page there uh before the end of the episode uh you'll you'll get a better idea of what you can do while you're doing like literally everything else and so like Bam, yes, give me some food here. Definitely going to need that. I'm glad that the uh, uh, animals don't run away from you anymore. But one of the challenges, which uh, I will I will show you in a little bit, is kill two animals, right? And so since it, one just happened to be there, uh, since one just happened to be there, might as well, right? And so why not? Ah, oh, come on. Ah, freaking! Why do you gotta move sideways? How? How did that miss? Give me some of those back. All right. But yeah. When uh, I highly recommend getting the, the finding your trader, right? Uh, it looks like that is not a trader, even though it almost looks like it is. So you can see the zombies, but find your trader, get the starter quest because you will have to uh, do a, a what do they call it? A special, special quest, I believe. Get that done, find another quest, and establish yourself somewhere where you can put your stuff down. Because uh, a lot's going to happen in that first day. Get yourself established. Kind of figure out what you want to do. Uh, maybe skill-wise, what kind of uh, what kind of skills do you want to start with? That kind of thing. Uh, maybe some of the animals run from you. I just saw one. I was hoping it would stand still. It did not. And... Uh, you know, understand what the skills are going to tell you so you can kind of go after what makes sense for you at the moment. 
the fact that I knew that there was a uh, time, uh, kill two animals quest means that uh, I was able to to kind of do these things while I'm oh, come on there you, go. you know on the fly give me that arrow back thank you and I don't have to worry about it. so just something to keep in mind let's uh let's visit wrecked here I'm not super thrilled that uh, you meet the traders in a in an order now but uh, I understand I understand why Wrecked is the absolute bottom tier, so of course Everything you're going to meet him first. Sale. I'd shake your hand, but Yes, give me the stone shovel. Dysentery. Intro to buried supplies. Moving, let's let's, let's do the buried me. supplies here. Equip that shovel. And man, it's going to be it's going to be rough. Um, I also highly recommend not looting this place until you've got yourself established, because uh, you're gonna, you're going to get full real quick if you do that. So let's uh, let's finish that. Come on, open the door. Let's finish this quest. Come back, get a new one, and find a place to get established here. All right, so finished up that beginner quest, and basically what the, the game is doing for you is it's like, hey, we know that there's a bunch of different weapons. Go ahead and choose one. Um, I'm not necessarily interested in the pipe baton, um, to be honest. The... The club and the, the knife will do well enough for me close range if I absolutely have to. I think I am going to go more of an agility spec with maybe a uh, a stamina type of uh, secondary. So I'm going to pick the pipe pistol. And wow, just clear zombies. All right, zombies must I be a problem. Shit work Camp Carlson, let's do Camp Carlson. Up, <laughs> clear, clear zombies apparently. All right, so it looks like we're going to the to the west. So, oh, hello. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of them. Get to Camp Carlson. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem like. Doesn't seem like there's a whole lot out there, which means I, if I want to establish myself out there, I may have to uh, build up myself. And as you can see, that as I hit them now, you can you can see the uh, uh, bleeding effect. Go ahead, keep bleeding, bleed, 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 bleed. Ah, oh, bleed some more. Yes, keep bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Let's go to Camp Carlson. Uh, if there's something around, to be honest, I don't think there will be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, find a house, kind of get my, uh, let's just call it base established. And uh, like this house right here looks fine. Like maybe I invade that house or uh, since it's since it's really just a start a, a pick me up base. We could go with this one right here. This looks perfect for a... Oh. I did not mean to jump in here with a dog. No! Ah! Gah! At least it died. Oh, that's not good. Well. Give me, give me, give me that... Give me that dog here. At least I got to uh, hunt animals done. Come on. And I'm infected. Great. Well, that'll be something I'll be dealing with for a while because you don't get a whole lot of money from trading. Is this just not a POI of any kind? I know it is. All right, you know what? This is cozy. I, I like this. This is going to be our starter base. Uh, wow. Oh, I need... Really? All right, well, I'll keep that there, and this will be a... Uh, maybe I'll make a wooden door here. But yeah, I, I like this. I, I, I like this, uh, uh, this setup right here. This is nice. So this will be our starter base. Let me go get organized in here, and we will... Uh, We'll go over skill, or not skills, uh, challenges soon. All right, so first things first, we found a pistol peep, which works for us considering we're going pistol. 
And now we can craft AP 9 mil ammunition. Not a big deal. And we found a cooking pot right in here, which makes, you know, perfect sense. Uh, and we will build a, uh, a campfire soon. But first things first. So, uh, finished basis of survival. You've got two uh, tabs right here, and I believe they grow as you as you finish things off. But uh, already crafted a land claim block to protect to protect the base, so we'll redeem that. Uh, craft a bedroll, building block, place a building block, upgrade the building block, craft a wooden door, craft a storage container. Which, funny enough, done that. Uh, place a torch, craft wooden spikes, and then upgrade block to cobblestone. So, you know, just in that, it's actually going to be fairly easy because all we really need to do is craft one of these bad boys. We don't have any cobblestone, but we could actually um, make cobblestone fairly easily. All we'd have to do is do this. Cobblestone, give me ten. Bam. Bam. Go ahead and throw that back in there. We can place the block. And I have a... Let's see. There's a good spot out here. Yeah, let's... Let's actually do this. I'm, can we not put one there? No, we can't. All right. Well, it doesn't matter. You know what? We'll, we'll do it in here. And uh, we'll put it right... Did I craft a wood block? I did craft a wood block. All right, well, let's craft a building block. Gee, I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, craft a uh, wooden block complete. So now it wants us to upgrade this bad boy. Bam, we did that. And it wants us to upgrade the cobblestone. Bam, did that. So we've done a few, and we can finish that off. But uh, next thing's next. Uh, purchase any skill. Harvest raw meat. Um, which, as you can see, it doesn't look like I have, even though I've done it. Uh, which, oh, maybe it's just because I'm not holding it. Is that it? Let's, let's, wait, I didn't want to do that. Undo that. Uh, let's, let's test this. Does it now show that I have six? No. So, uh, apparently it did not register that, uh, I had harvested. Oh, and it wants me to do it with a bone knife. That's why. Yeah, just make sure to read what these say with a bone knife. So, uh, place campfire, uh, craft some charred meat, eat some charred meat, drink from a water source. Now, remember, water source. So, not necessarily... Uh, well, it doesn't say... Well, we'll, I mean, we'll, we will try it out before it's over. Kill zombies, create a farm block, place a dew collector. Um, read a magazine. Increase your crafting skill. So I did, that wasn't a crafting skill. Scrap four items. There are five items. Place a forge. Craft something in the forge. Craft a workbench. Craft 20 pipe bombs. Place a cement mixer, craft 100 cement, place a chemistry station, craft some gas. So this one is going to be very tiered all the way through. Same with the trader quest. I met trader wreck, whoop de doo uh, Jen is going to be burnt forest. You've got Bob in the desert. You've got trader Hugh in the snow biome and trader Joel in the wasteland. So again, very tiered. Buy from the trader and sell to the trader. Complete uh, two quests from the trader. complete uh, a tier and then open the trade routes harvesting so harvest jars of honey so get those stumps harvest cobblestone so you're looking at uh the the pallets uh harvest some short iron pipes harvest 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 so it just wants you to harvest uh some stuff and specifically remember some of these with a knife with a stone axe, with any harvest tool. So you see, uh, that's what it, you have to make sure you kind of read the fine print on here. Harvest forge steel using a salvage tool. So talking about wrenches. And then uh, harvest some electrical parts using a wrench. So just make sure you understand kind of what's in here i'm going to go ahead and get these i'll probably finish this off real quick because i definitely need a, a, a bedroll 
but yeah, so that's kind of the deal. So now skills. Uh, like I said, I wanted to go agility um, because I rarely do agility uh, builds. Uh, I do like the hidden strike. Um, we're going to, to kind of focus on uh, these because, as you can see, using bladed weapons like knives and machetes, bleed your foes. I'm going to go with the knife and the, the bow and the, the pistol. Now, like I said, I was considering doing a uh, kind of uh, secondary in Fortitude. So, uh, Machine Gunner um, and maybe Brawler. I'm not sure about that. But specifically, kind of kind of focusing on these. I don't focus on Agility and Fortitude very often, so I want to do it since this is only going to be for seven days. Uh, but yeah, uh, looking, good, looking good there. So, uh, let's go ahead and we're going to put one here and we're gonna put two there give me a uh, give me a parkour give me a hidden strike you know give me two and a hidden strike so we're we should be good there um but yeah that, that's kind of the idea let me finish off a few things and then we will get to the poi Bam! 4.5 times damage. Gotta love that hidden strike. Give me my arrow back. What do we got here? Water. I definitely need water, but I actually need food a lot more. And some uh, medicine. Medicine would be great. So, already completed all of this. Uh, no medicine. We're gonna have to go up top here. I know there's uh, enemies up there, but uh, that's just... There we go. Come on down. I have absolutely no want to try to... Uh... Yeah, go ahead and stay right there. Yes. Come on. Hey, get out of here. Knife for the win. All right. Um, you having problems up there? Hey, yeah, there you go. Oh, right in the knee. Get out of here. Yeah. All right. Let's get up there, get the loot, and uh, there we go. Then we can get another quest before the trader closes up here. Come on, get maybe not in here, but I definitely need some meds. Uh, Handy land, scrapping for fun. Give me that uh, gas. Intellect mod. Handy AI gear compa companion gives you archived information. Wow, that's in a tier one. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely take that. Holy moly, that was. Uh, quite a find all right let's get back oh let's go ahead and shovel these before i go but let's get back get another get another quest um and get resettled back into our uh, our base here all right well not not bad uh i think just out of necessity i'm going to be going with the crafting skill magazine but nothing that i really need other than maybe the baked potatoes uh, but we are going to get 400 dukes with this. And so uh, we also finish that homesteading. So if you finish a whole line, you get something. Um, need the, I definitely need, well, ooh, armored up though. But I need the forge ahead. I need, I need more of those. So let's take another job. Let's see what you got. Fetch to the east. Let's make a pact. Yeah, well, okay. Good take luck. that. Now we're going to, ooh, I, what do you, what food we got here? I'm gonna I'm gonna buy that can of chili because I definitely need some more food, or I'm going to need some more food here real soon. Let's loot what we can in here and then head back to the base. Ah, uh, no forge to head, no forge to head. Come on, man. Oh yeah, the other thing. Come on, tell me Trader Joe's is about to be closed. Trader Rick is closing shortly. So finish your damn business or come back tomorrow, if you're still alive. 
<laughs> Freaking traitor wreck, man. I love this guy, even though I hate his guts. All right, let's head back to the base. All right, getting desperate for meds, so I'm gonna raid this uh, ambulance. Do we, we? Oh, thank goodness. So let's go ahead and start staving this off right now, and we've got enough uh, to finish it off later. All right, so first things first, we got us a few magazines, so we will go ahead and uh, get these red. I actually am interested in the bow hunters this time around. Uh, Southern Farming, Vehicle Adventures, and three Forged Ahead. Uh, we need more Forged Ahead, definitely. Um, and now apparently I'm level five. Uh, I can now craft a dew collector, which is good. I'm definitely going to need that. But uh, we'll we'll do a quick. We've got two points, so let's go ahead. Can we do? We can't do another parkour. Let's. Uh, you know what? We don't need medium armor just yet. However, I want to be better at these things, so we'll pump a point into each one of those. Uh, let's see how we're doing with challenges. So, finished that. Gave us 500 uh, experience. Oh, I need to craft two charred meat. I can actually do that now. The read the magazine. We still need to scrap a few things. Uh, looks like we're doing, you know, we're, we're getting some traction here. No problem. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, th this is kind of, this this is where we're at. We, uh, we've gone over challenges, kind of what I'm going to go with the build uh, for now. Uh, so that is definitely going to do... Oh, wait a minute. For some reason, this medical journal came in here. And I do need to put these away. So let's throw those in there. And I have cash randomly set. And I still... And I need... Actually, that is the other thing. Let's go ahead... Before we leave, let's go ahead and craft, let's see, primitive equipment. So, uh, let's see. Oh, geez, we're going to need plant fibers. Let's go out and get plant fibers real quick. All right, we've got a fresh set of primitive shoes, a better primitive outfit, a primitive hat, which I, I love it. It just... <laughs> this looks amazing. I'm sorry. Um, but we, weirdly enough, we can now... I, I don't know if these are not allowed to be taken out. And it would suck if it did. Nope. All right. I can take it out. But that just... I, I now have a plus one to intellect. Like, just bam. That's, that's actually pretty awesome. Uh... But now we, uh, uh, you know, we're rocking a full set here. Um, and I think, let's see, it doesn't look like we get, there's no XP up. Oh, well, wait a minute, no. So let's go with this. It might be itchy, but you're not naked. So we're not getting a, a bonus on this, but we are getting uh, that armor rating. Uh, which we will need. But yeah, that is going to do it for this uh, introductory episode. Like and subscribe for more content. And as always, I will see you in the next video.